guys, this is how to play the classic riff from The Chain by Fleetwood Mac, which is also the Formula One theme tune as well. This is part of a playlist of 10 songs that use the major scale, which you will find by subscribing, by clicking that link and signing in in the top corner there. Um, and we're also going to cover that little lead line in this. Uh, make sure you've got your guitar on your knee and let's get straight in for a close up on how to play The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. Open it. So in this song, this is using the notes from the C major scale, but we're starting on the open A string. And in many ways, this can be considered to be in the key of A minor, this section or this riff. Um, but A minor in music theory is exactly the same thing and uses the same notes as C major. So um, we have what is called a relative major and minor key. So any song that is in the key of C is kind of also in the key of A minor. Um, we'll be covering more about the theory of that going forward, but as we say, this is just all the same notes. So open A happens twice. First finger, second fret on the fifth string middle finger third fret and we hold it there so it's a little bit of a run up open open one middle finger and then we go back down the same way first finger to open then middle finger on the thickest E string That's the third fret on the thickest E string. Back up to open A, second fret on the same A string. Just to recap, nice and slow. And then finally, just the open thickest E string. This is uh, played on bass guitar. On, uh, on the original record, but it doubles up on to guitar nicely because the thicker four strings that are on this acoustic guitar as, as bronze and most acoustic guitar that are bronze, um, they're the same, tuned to the same notes as a bass guitar. So a bass guitar can be seen as a normal guitar without the thinnest two strings, without the chicken wire strings. So any classic bass riffs that you want to also learn, and there are many, Open two, three, two, open three, open one, zero. Fingers numbers wise. Um, you can then learn yourself just by treating any bass tab or any bass lessons as the thickest four strings on your guitar. Just to finish up one more time, let's try to see if we can play this along to me. So play along in two. Three, four, two, three. And one, two, three, four, two, three. And that's how to play our main riff. To play the lead line. I'm, I've put my first finger on the fifth fret, which is the second dot on my guitar, on the B string, on the second string. And then I'm also playing the open E underneath it, and they're tuned to the same note because I've got my uh, first finger there. You can slide up to it, which sounds kind of cool as well, but you really just want to make sure that you're just playing the thinnest two strings, resting your um, arm and your hand on the guitar itself and the thicker, thicker strings and you just try and bounce your hand up and down so that you can get the speed of it. The, yeah, the speed of this bit is the trickiest bit. To 
try and get the tempo, you can just try and mute your strings by pressing on the strings lightly. But remember to move your hand really small motions to be able to play faster. To move on from that, you want to slide this right up to 17th fret. So you start off there. And then in the song, he also presses, which is at um, um, 15th fret of the thinnest E string and that one just lifts back off and we've also got the middle finger staying down at 17th fret 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and boom Sounds a little strange on its own, but sounds fantastic when you play it along to the song and with the riff underneath it. So that's how to play the chain by Fleetwood Mac. Please subscribe if you haven't already and check out the rest of the songs in this playlist that are showing you songs how to use the C major scale, which is so fundamental uh, to all melodies that are played on guitar. I'm sure I'll see you again in one of those videos, so I'll see you over there. Bye for now, please subscribe.